Elemental Herd. The Starry Adventure. One peaceful evening, as the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the forest, Rocky and Fiery decided to explore a part of the woods they had never seen before. As they dashed through the bushes, they talked about the exciting things they might find. The owls hooted. It's mysterious and unexplored, exclaimed Rocky. Rocky and Fiery, excited by the unknown, ventured deeper into the woods. As they journeyed further, they noticed a strange, soft glow between the trees. What's that? whispered Fiery, his eyes wide with wonder. They walked quietly closer and saw, to their amazement, a small, glowing creature. It looked like a tiny alien, with gentle, shimmering light radiating from its body. Hello, said the glowing creature timidly. I'm Lumo, and I'm lost. I come from a star far away, and I need to find my way home. Rocky and Fiery, though a little scared, felt very kind. We'll help you, Lumo, declared Rocky bravely. So, with Lumo in tow, the trio set off on an adventure. Rocky used his Earth abilities to clear paths, and Fiery lit up dark areas with his gentle flame. As they journeyed, Lumo mentioned a special map that could guide them. It's a map of stars, Lumo explained. It shows the way back to my home star. The map of stars? How do we find it? Fiery asked, curious. I lost the map of stars when my little ship crashed here in the forest, Lumo said with a sigh. It fell somewhere near the crystal pond. Then that's where we'll go first, Fiery exclaimed. Sprite, the water elemental guinea pig lives there. Off they went, with Lumo guiding them toward the crystal pond. Sprite, the water elemental guinea pig, greeted them with a splash. What brings you to my pond? She asked. We're helping Lumo find the map of stars to get home, Rocky explained. Azura's eyes sparkled with excitement. I saw something shiny near the waterfall, she said. Maybe that's your map. Together, the three friends approached the waterfall. It was a beautiful sight, with water cascading down, shimmering like thousands of tiny stars. After some searching, Rocky spotted something glinting behind a rock. It's the map! Lumo exclaimed joyfully. After finding the map of stars near the crystal pond, Rocky and Fiery realized that Lumo's ship needed repair before he could return to the stars. I don't know much about starships, said Rocky, looking at the small damaged vessel. Fiery, always eager to help, chimed in. But we can learn and help fix it. Together we can do anything. And so they set to work. First, Fiery used his gentle flame to carefully weld the ship's delicate parts. His controlled fire was just right for the job, fixing the metal without harming it. Rocky, with a twinkle in his eye, called upon the forest. He asked the trees and plants for help, and they responded. Branches and leaves moved on their own, forming a sturdy framework around the ship. Lumo was amazed. I've never seen anything like this, he said, eyes wide with wonder. Your earth magic is truly special. Working together, they made the ship stronger and more beautiful than before. It was a magnificent sight, a blend of alien technology and the natural magic of Earth. As Lumo's ship began to hum softly, ready for takeoff, Fiery and Rocky gathered close. Goodbye, Lumo, Fiery said warmly, his flame flickering gently. Your stories of the stars were so amazing. I'll always remember our adventure. Rocky nodded his eyes reflecting the soft glow of Lumo's ship. And I learned that even the smallest friends can have the biggest hearts. Safe travels, Lumo. Lumo smiled, his light shimmering brightly. Goodbye, my brave friends. You've made this star traveler very happy. 
With a soft whoosh, the ship lifted off, carrying Lumo back to the stars, leaving Fiery and Rocky watching, their hearts full of memories from a night they'd never forget.